Crunch time, coming up big when it counts. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Crunch Time, where we come up big where it counts. I'm Dom with the great man, Sauce, Luke, and Ant. How are we going? What's happening, Dom? What up? Nothing much. I'm just having a laugh because we're going to be talking about some F1, and I'll just I'm bringing up the Instagram post, and during the intro, I just I was reading some of the comments. <laughs> oh, it's so funny! I'll be reading about on the show. Let's go through them. <laughs> we'll go through but yeah, we'll, we'll, we, we'll start with F one in a second. But first of all, clearly, yeah, how you going? Doing well. Good doing well. Not Good. complain. We've, we've had it. We've, we've had a uh, a jam packed week uh, at Double Coverage dot Media. The lads, a uh, bit of controversy, obviously, uh, on a Monday night. <laughs> Soccer Card Collective, uh, most definitely. Uh, and then us, Doma, um, on Wednesday evening, flaming uh, the uh, one of the card groups on Facebook where a bit of dodgy action has been happening. Plus, obviously, uh, giving out our infamous Lemon of the Week. Go check that out if you, if you haven't seen it already. But we're here today, Doma. What are we talking about? Uh, F1 to start off with, and then we're going to run through the PWCC auction, which was fantastic until it got to two for minutes 30, but we'll go through for some, some of us. And I redeem myself. Even better for some of us. <laughs> and I redeem myself because Ant said at the end of last week's show, uh, well, all of you pretty much, and you all agreed with him. Thank you for, that's what your bad influence <laughs> on me. Your Ant was just like, he goes, oh, you had no, you had no fire or flame. Well, you better come with something next week. You better come with a fire and a flame. <laughs> so I had to go out there and <laughs> spend money in this auction. The spotlight so, was put on him. Yeah. You got some Ant fire, right? the pressure, mate. He put the so pressure <laughs> and he felt it and he delivered. He's delivered. He mate. delivered. No, definitely. We have to delivered. wait till the end of the show to, to hear it. We have to wait, yeah. We don't know. Right. It could be. Don't give him the props so quickly. Like, we don't know yet. We don't could know. be shit. It's just building suspense. <laughs> there, there, there is something in there Ant's going to love. There is. And for, yeah, well, Lukey likes him because he plays for his team, but Ant <laughs> definitely loves him. It's his favorite player. So. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I, I, I had to I buy heard, it. I, I heard the it. sarcasm. I had to buy it. But we are going to start with the F1 before we get to uh, the PWCC auction. Lights out. Coming soon. Got announced by Tops underscore UK Instagram page. Uh, thoughts on this? It looks like metal bordering. Uh, comment here. I'm just, I'm just reading one. some of the comments. <laughs> this Oxy Collectibles, man. Oxy Collectibles. That, un- under Lukey's comment, wrote, fitting set name considering your website will crash on release again. <laughs> that's my fire for the week right there. That's my fire. Lights out. That is, that's 10 out of 10. Um. I'll see if there's anything else. The cards look good. I that was know. pretty much that was the best one. They uh, look pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously got a, that metal bordering on the Hamilton and the Norris. You want me to be honest? I hope these are really che- like. I hope these are. I hope these don't fall anywhere near what Chrome uh, no, box boxes are. At. They I can't could be surely. like a 200 box, maybe 150, and then they resell for 300, something like that. Yeah, I think that's what like it, it shouldn't be anywhere near, like no autos, it looks like. Yeah, but I think nah. this is more supposed to be like a, you know, like a fun collecting set. No, but, but a fun number. set. That's what it should yeah, be. Yeah, that's what the price Yeah, that, that's be. how they put value in it, obviously, by putting the numbered stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I'll be interested to see what they price it at. Uh, whether you know they what, what they go out at. Um, I'm thinking um, probably around the one one forty range, maybe probably. two, maybe one fifty. I don't know. A box. Yeah. I don't know why they sort of they sort of remind me of the turbo. Oh, I don't know what they call it. It's like the match attacks editions that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, called yeah. turbo. Turbo something. attacks. Yeah. yeah. Turbo, turbo attacks. Yeah. Turbo attacks is it? Yeah. It sort of reminds me of that, to be honest, and that's why, um, probably not, <laughs> not the same as my comment there. But I actually I don't love it that much, to be honest. Is it? Is it something? I don't think we've ever spoken about this, but how is it going to go on release day with drivers in their new team uniform? 
I think we can. Um, so is this how long do we have to wait for that? So is this going to be a 2021 set? Well, I'm assuming so. Because like Chrome coming out in we'll say December this year, it's projected for December. Is going to have 2021 in it. Is this going to be 2022 uniforms? Because it looks like what's what's Russell wearing there? No, he's got he's got uh, he's got Williams. Williams Williams Racing. Yeah, it's so I'm guessing it's going to be 2021. Mercedes. Yeah, so it's going to be 2021. Well, I, I think I mentioned it. I think we talked about it on off the grid actually. How I I don't think that the the market and the fans are so new that they don't really have team attachment yet. I feel I feel like yeah. it's more individuals and and driver base. Like who do you collect? You don't say I collect Mercedes. You say I collect you know Hamilton. Or Hamilton. You don't say I collect McLaren. Yeah, you don't say I collect McLaren. I uh, I collect uh, Norris. Uh, yeah. So I feel like for the for the sport, you, the moment, you reckon they'll come drivers. around? You reckon they'll uh, shift into team base? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't answer that. I can't answer. It's because, like, I reckon? feel like because Russell's going to Mercedes, I feel like Russell is a very likable character, whereas Hamilton is, like, the complete opposite. Like, mm. he he's not, not that he's not likable, but he's, like, he's won everything. No one's really rooting for him to win again, like, unless you're a diehard Mercedes fan. People want to see Max win this year. It's just, like... A, Everywhere I turn, max, max, max. But like now with Russell going to Mercedes, maybe Mercedes gets, you know, oh, I want Mercedes to win again. I don't know. It'll be interesting. I think all I, I do you know, know is F1 in Melbourne next year in April. Mm. Very We're good going. shot. We're all in. Lock it in. Double coverage. Not me. We're getting in. a boss. We're getting <laughs> Live a Live reporting. Definitely, definitely Double try coverage get. Vlog. Try get a, a, a box break with, with Danny Ricardo. Oh, that'd be elite. Imagine that. Wow, yeah, imagine that'd that. be elite. Funded by it. Danny Rick. Yeah. Wow. yeah. He would do it. He'd be like, what the fuck? Nah, is this and, and to supply the box. Sponsored by Collect Connect, baby. Uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> supply the box. Me, me and Sleeven will, will supply the box. Bro, that would be epic. It'd genuinely be epic. www.collectconnect.com.au. Go check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Bang, mad drop. There's no box, no boxes for sale. There. <laughs> yeah, the website. Don't, don't, don't bother, don't Singles. bother passing. Singles, they used to be up for 800, not anymore. <laughs> all gone, all sold out. You know what's funny with F1? Do you think like that attachment, like you were saying, is because you've got teams like Alpine in there and you've got a team like Haas in there? What happens if Porsche and Lamborghini come into the sport? No, it's, it's good. It'd be good in terms of viewership. Outside of outside of Red Bull, everyone knows Red Bull because you got Verstappen there. Everyone knows Red Bull. You know, it's called Red, Red Bull in other, racing. In other, in other sports too, as well. Yeah, but then you look at if you look at the top four teams, it's Red Bull, car manufacturer name McLaren, car manufacturer name Mercedes, car manufacturer name Ferrari. Then it goes uh, AlphaTauri. You know what I'm saying? Like people might not find that Aston Martin's in there. That's another full car brand name, like in there. If you add yeah. Porsche and Lamborghini in there, you might start getting that rivalry of people that are like, Lambos are better than this and Porsches are better than this and I'm going to support this because I drive a Porsche or I drive a Lamborghini. I don't know. I see it and I, I do see that. And from maybe not a car point of view, but from a just a, a supporter point of view, I know with BMW, yeah. a lot of people were doing that. When yeah, BMW used to be in the sport. Audi, um, or was it Audi coming in? Oh, I can't remember. Who nah, I think Audi, Audi wanted to come in. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting point though. That nah, could be something, but I don't mind these cars. They look okay. Will I buy them? Probably not. But I say something... the car. I reckon you know how we usually say the car. Um, cards aren't as preferred compared to your portrait of the drivers. I reckon the car looks so much better than those. Those uh, portraits are just there. The drivers. That's a good yeah. shot. The driver car looks great. Great. Mm. I don't know. There's something about the bottom three that I don't. I don't know. It doesn't sit with me right. I don't know what it is. I, either. I definitely yeah, agree. Maybe I don't know what maybe it when is. I see maybe. it in, in hand, but. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's just, gonna, a, I, just a mock-up. I thought you meant, moment, thought you meant the promotional material. I was going to say it's because they're all English, so 
Oh, that's a good. That's a good it's on the top. It's on the tops UK Instagram, and they just put three English drivers. Like these, oh, the, the worst part is these boxes are going to drop for like 90, 90 pounds or whatever it was. Probably like fifty five pounds. They'll sell out, and then they'll be up for three hundred USD. Yeah, three hundred and the rest. I'll little... give more. They'll go. Yeah. Re- nah, they'll go. Nah, resale nah. price four fifty resale. I reckon US. Straight yeah, after. nah, there's a void That's in the market crazy. there. No, nah, there's a void nah. in the market. There's a void. Because there's like why Dynasty, would, like why would you Chrome, not buy Sapphire, Chrome. and then 800, 800 bucks for this. There's a void. No. You get 800 bucks? No, nah, it won't be. I'm just being sarcastic. <laughs> no. It's the void. I was going to say, God, I, I thought I was being, um, I thought it was if being ambitious no with 450. In this, if there's no autos well, we in this, like, who's paying that? Yeah, you don't know, but you don't know. No, it's not going to be eight hundred. He's being it sarcastic. Be, I sense that sarcastic. from the moment he started speaking, mate. He was. No, I'm just saying. No, I thought I'm so, saying but then I was like, "Oh, jeez." No, no, it's because I'm saying that because, like, you know, there's a void in the thing because of, um, you know, how expensive the boxes are. We've only got three mm. products at the moment, so uh, four fifty. Four fifty sounds realistic. Yeah. This is another thing too. How many more products are they going to bring out for F1 this season? Not just for 2021, like for 2022 as well. Because I had a quick yeah. look. I was looking at the um the blowout forum release calendar, and I just saw for top. I just happened to scroll past baseball as I was going to look for basketball. There were so many tops releases. It was like two a month at least. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know if that's yeah. normal. I'm not too sure. Well, this for baseball. Is the, this yeah. Is the, Baseball yeah, yeah, they, they pump out stuff for baseball, man. Heaps. But this is the fear Heaps. that we're, <laughs> this is the fear we've had for F1 since it's gone gangbusters. This is the they fear. were testing waters with the first one. They didn't know how the demand. That's yeah, why that's why there's also such a demand for the first print because people know that it's actually rare. Like in terms yeah. of cards today, it's actually rare. You know, the, the print run. Um, and people have crunched the numbers, especially on some of the Sapphire stuff where it's all numbered. Like they've crunched the numbers on the potential amount of boxes. You know, people have done that. I think there's a there's a forum thread about it um, out there somewhere. There's a good so, – I'm pretty sure it's a spread, spreadsheet and it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and right. And so people sort of work out the, the average how many boxes, cases there could be. And, and, and you know, people see value in that because it's, it's a lesser print. Um, going down the track, man. I, I, you know, I, I could see Tob stretching it out to potentially somehow get to somewhere like what do they got? They got five products now. Why couldn't they have ten F one products? I'd, possibly. It would. It would. It would just ruin the market. But I feel like, yeah, I agree with you. I, I reckon they, they don't really do care though. They'll, they'll do, do it. it. Yeah. That's that. That makes me think. Like, if you're gonna buy anything, you might as well just. Fork out the two thousand USD, buy series one, and just sit on it. There's no one, nothing else makes sense. Like a box of twenty twenty one Chrome is six hundred USD on pre order. How can you have, you know, how can this box lights out be anything more than that? Like, what? Why would you not want Chrome over that set? You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I mean, you, you'd take Chrome. So then it has to fall between 400 and 600. Yeah. Maybe 300 and 600. It all depends on... I don't on... know. I, I don't want them to saturate the market. Not for F1. I don't either, but it's going to happen. They're going to do it. <laughs> You're just going to... I think it's though. just... I'd rather... Than, honestly, I'd rather than make... Instead of putting a gazillion products out, I'd rather than increase the... The production of what, like Chrome, one quality, yeah, yeah. Instead yeah, of like, rather, for example, they put thirty thousand boxes out for Chrome last year. I rather than just put fifty thousand boxes out. Mm. Add a but few, like, add a few more sets into that product, so then there's more cards numbered. That's it. Yeah, I get you. Instead as of if putting they haven't out, like yeah. looked at the numbers. And to guys, like, we fucked up kind of last year with soccer. The last 12 months, we've got way too many, you know, products. The, the cards themselves haven't, you know, gone up the same way we expected them to. Like, let's reassess. Let's not make as many for the next season. Like, come on. There's got to be someone that's, like, on the ground and, like, looks at this stuff and was like, you know, 
can tell even if you just had one person at, at one person per sport at, to, at tops and just be like, no. all right, let me look at comps. Because that's not the way it works, Ant. Like, they're just looking at, like, how much they would make if they print it, how much manufacturing costs is and, um, you know, logistics and all that coming into, into you know, into fact. And then they look at the bottom dollar. So, like, they're just like, oh, if we sell X amount of cases – it's gonna. We're gonna make this much. So if we sell X amount of these cases, we're gonna make this much. And then if they work it out that they create more product and they can sell, you know, some of that, and and maybe some of it will be just numbered and and non autoed. So, um, you know, you can you can flood out some more of that stuff, and they can even make it at so a cheaper price point. Minded. Yeah, but I think I think that's. I think that's what they're going to do. Like, I, I, I don't think they will saturate it to the point. That maybe we don't get ten products, but they got five now. I mean, if you if you take into account the the turbo attacks, which is also printed by Tops, and then you got Dynasty, you got Sapphire, you got Chrome, um, you got this Lights Out. You, you're going to have the Tops flagship, like the Tops. I think it's just Tops, and then there's the yeah. Chrome as well. So, like, you know, there's what we already got six. We already got six. We're getting there. If, if you think about it, Anthony, their game is short term now. Like in, in yeah, like five years' time, they, they're going to lose majority of their their revenue from. But they won't why lose the hell S1. wouldn't fanatics take it? Like take F one. Like like they've only got it for. That's, that's what I mean. I don't know what, what how long's the contract. Another three four years. So for tops, this is a short term yeah. game now. They'll be watching it very 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 closely, fanatics. They'll be watching mm-hmm. Miami. They'll be watching all those races. They'll be watching the the sales data for the products next year and the year after. And if it continues to go on an uptrend, I can't say why they wouldn't buy them and try and buy memorabilia, to, like the memorabilia side of the sport as well. Do Fanatics so, do that already? I don't think they do F1. I'm not too sure. don't think they do F1. I wouldn't think so. But... Yeah. Sp- speaking of buying great memorabilia, I really like, I think I saw it on Facebook. There was a Danny Ricardo uh, helmet, like a I think it was a half size, not a full size, but it looks so like, good as a display piece. Yeah, yeah, the mini, minis so are sick. So great. I saw so a Verstappen sick. one, which oh, I had a Verstappen one in hand yeah. probably two weeks ago. They're pretty cool. Yeah, I think I want to pick one up. It's such a nice mm-hmm. display piece. So I'll nice. Put it on the desk. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll get one. Sounds good. I like that. Not a bad pickup at all. All right, now we'll move on to the big one, PWCC. Now, if you caught last week's episode, quick recap. Uh, we are discussing how the prices of cards were so low before it got to extended bidding. So it'd be interested to see your reaction, Ant, and your reaction, Luke, based on some of the pricing that you saw these cards at pre-end of auction to now post uh, I've already done a closed filter with the highest bid for soccer. Oh, you already got it up? Cool. So I'm yes, about cool. to bring it up. The top card, the most expensive card that's sold in the monthly. I'm not including premium auction in this. I'm just including the monthly auction of the cards we looked at uh, last week. Mm. So the top card is a 2003 Panini Mega Cracks, Cristiano Ronaldo, Rookie, BGS9, and... There it is, 24K. Anyone else think that's cheap? Yeah. Um, I reckon that's cheap. Just yeah, just not look at comps or anything. Cheap. I reckon that's cheap. Yeah, I'd say cheap. 24 and what? Failing, you know, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> when this, when this, what's a 10? 10 was like 240 or 340? Yeah, something like that. 236, wasn't it? USD. Yeah, so that's pretty cheap. That's around there. Cheap. Yeah, so on, on card ladder, there's no actual BGS 9s, but a PSA 9 last sold for 43,000, and PSA 8 sold for 14,000. Um, so BGS 9, I mean, it's probably it's probably it's pretty fair. Pretty fair. On Maybe re- it could have been a little bit more. Panini foot on re PSA eight twelve k. It's pretty good. They're hard to come by. Those that's his true rookie. There's a. Um, 
Leo Messi, 8-5 for 10. Forget about Jo Johan Cruyff. Johan Cruyff, you mean? <laughs> Cruyff, yeah, that's right. PSA two sold for nine and a half grand. Oh wow, not bad. That's great. It's another eight five mega crack seven five Ronaldo. See, that makes it look so cheap then. Like you've if it's a, a seven yeah, five, he's got nine thousand, and then a BGS nine, which is arguably like. Much better condition, just based on grade. Mm. Saucy's favorite card, or oh, sticker. They still eighty five hundred. Wow. What's the pop on that now? I don't know. That's a, that's actually a good question because it's an interesting, uh, interesting start. Cruyff again. Cruyff again. Zidane. Messi, Maradona. What's that Messi rated? 7.5. Okay. This one here. Oh, this Messi. The pop is 188, Lukey. 188 total? On the, on the, yeah, on PSA 10 on the uh, quarantine gene and Mbappe rookie. Okay. Maradona. Well, is a PSA not... 10 World Who's Cup Ronaldo. So far down. Just stop, just stop with the 2014, 2014 Silver Prism. PSA 10, $5,500. Why? What a player. That that's well overs. That's that's not worth it. I think it's a good car, but I'm not paying five grand for that. No, that's that's not worth it. I guess, uh, nah, nah. O- 06 World Cup or that? The, what was the World Cup? What did the World o- Cup go for? 06. O- uh, 06 5, World Cup. Five grand. It's the same price. Uh, every, every day, though. So, yeah, that seems like a logical thing to do. He's a Ronaldo Nazario 95. That's pretty cool. Super cultural. Pele. He's the infamous Ronaldo sticker. The BGS 9. BGS 9, 44. Yeah, yeah, because I, I mean, people are thinking they're all fake now. Yeah, true. And rightfully so. I mean, I don't know. Palais, Palais. Soccer, soccer shady, shady stuff. Yeah, I mean, you, you yeah, just posted that's something right. today about it. I didn't get the reading. Oh, okay, really, but... I haven't had it, had a look. Yeah, but, it was um, a story. I can't. I, 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 I mean, why would they so. remove a bunch of them from the the pop number? Yeah, mm. it's it's yeah, it's funny stuff. It ruins um, no real now. explanation. Do we do we expect an explanation from BGS? Yeah, so. We expect we yeah, expect it from every, every other every other grading company not called PSA and BGS need to give an explanation. <laughs> Speaking of HGA, um, I got my first order coming back. The cards are. Uh, oh, I, you can I, reveal I, them live on the show, mate. Did you check the grades? I actually might. I did check my grades. Yeah. Okay. How would you go? Surprisingly, very well. Really? Like, yeah, very well. I got. Um, should I reveal it now, or, or yeah, just say, save now. It just say now? Maybe I'll just say keep now. it for my fire or flame. Okay, I'll keep it for my fire. How many, how many cards did you send it? Just the five. This was just well five. back. This was when they only did five, and there was yep. like a cap, and they used to sell out, and yeah, that to all that time. to get. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that was. Yeah, I can't believe this. All right, I'm come on, tell gone, us, Domo, what's going on? I've just gone to lowest bids, yeah, because yeah. I want to see if we can find any gems that went pretty cheap. I can't believe that we got Jermaine Jones and Josie Altador selling for ten US. Like, oh, if I that know. is the poor, poorest reflection of the the soccer market in the United States, when you got Pepe <laughs> going for fifteen k, like, come on, these are legends of of your nation. Stop it. So Surely someone's worth... just trying to make a 2014 Prism set for the US. Yeah. That's the only reason I can see anyone spending more than a dollar on that. Will Trap. No, I'm just... Purple <laughs> Velocity. Look at Eden. Eden has that. Yeah, I oh, know. Nothing. It's a shame. Pogba. Still? Hey, well, didn't people like Kubo one stage? That was for like a week. 
Just see if we can see anything <laughs> that I bought in here. This will be good. We might stumble across the <laughs> legendary of all legendary cards. I the rarest back, soccer card. Back, I think we'll be back down the other end. There's the go. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, you're right. I thought you clicked back to the start again. No, 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 no. There's one man. Congratulations. Oh, I won this one. It actually tells me. Fuck, I'm spoiling it all. I, <laughs> Dom Russ. So I got a Cristiano Ronaldo 2015. I just picked it up as Ronaldo in a Madrid jersey. So I thought add that. Not for anything. I looked at, I comped all these cards and that was last sold at around 25 to 30 USD. That card. Picked it up for 12. Take it. So we might see some of the cards I bought in here. Oh, Anthony Martial. There's an, oh, there it is. There it is, Ant. Come in. Come in close for a look. Come in, Ant. Come in, Ant. <laughs> come in. Come in. Come here. We'll even I've, I've got one right here. I'll just, I'll ship it over to you. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, smash the up. slab just... on both sides. That is awful. That's just awful. <laughs> even he, look, 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 look at his face, bro. He's even his shocked that he got bored. He's even, <laughs> look at him. He's did you shocked. into the Werner hype, did you, Ant? No, no. I, I had one from from um, the first want pack high res. I ever bought was um, a, a oh. World Cup pack. I ended up shipping one off. And it only cost me. Oh, here it is. I've got one of these. I've got two Werners, believe it or not. Just enjoy that. Select, this Werner. Yeah. Did yeah. you grade and them? In that. Yeah, grade them myself. What'd you get? Team Team shocked. Look how shocked he is. Now you, can't, now you can't even sell them on eBay. I don't. This is a reminder not to grade um, cards if you don't know the players any good. It's just a reminder. Oh, you was pretty good when he was in the Bundesliga. Yeah, Stop man. it. He still is. Yes, Stop he was. He, he still is good. Stop well, it. He was killing he it was... in the Bundesliga. He was. Is there any players you want me to search for? Um, um, soccer related or just anyone? Can be soccer related. We'll do soccer, just a couple, and then we can move to basketball. We can look at some Trey Young. I know you want to look at Trey. Yes, please. That, that was the one name I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. So any Red soccer. Momo, um, and then we'll move to Trey Young. Was there any other? Was there any, any modern stuff on there? Any like Camavinga? Oh yeah, that's a good one. I think there might have been some. It'd be Camavinga. I think it was Jude. A lot of Jude. I saw one or two Bellingham's just then when we were scrolling through. Here we go. PSA nine one oh five rookie stickers. That's a okay. that to me. Why Bro, the what third? the f? What the Where f? The Wait, Why what? is the eight eight five went for seventy four and the nine five mint plus went for fifty six? And then the PSA nine went for is that sixty? Yeah, yeah. What's Sorry, I, th this is going to be like my early flame. Who the hell, when you see multiple lots of a card, goes and bids on the cheapest one? Yeah, first? but. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah, I get that, Doma. But that probably, you know, maybe the guy got stumped with the it disappearing. Maybe he was going through the list yeah, in the last two minutes, hey, putting some bids. Hey, sounds like, you're talking, sounds like you're talking from experience there, Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know why I said Camavinga? Because I was supposed to bid on some of these rookie stickers. I was going to get one of those, right? It's, the SGC 9.5 was meant to be mine, all right? <laughs> It's not for twenty dollars. Then there's another one that's twenty one dollars. Can we oh, take hilarious. a moment to talk about how terrible oh, of a platform? It's gross. It it's gross. And I'm pretty sure I saw something today. Golden's about to come out with his own platform, his own marketplace. It'd be interesting to but see. It, it, it's any better? It sucks. This sucked. This is such a shitty platform. But anyway. I'm speaking from a haterish position where I didn't get to bid on anything. So, <laughs> oh, well. anyone else? As as much as we hate on, like um, an ant boy. Like, as long as we hate, as much as we hate on um, eBay and stuff like that, it, it shows how good their platform is, though. Ah, eBay and yeah. stuff. They don't sell these. But then again, things. it is like it is. They don't sell the best business. English player of all time. The big, the best English player <laughs> look of all up time those... cards sold for very, very cheap. 
Any to you? Look up Sala. Uh, not heading to me. I made a mistake. I should have. I should have just bought one of these. Yeah, I lost this oh, one. Yeah. PSA Sorry. 290. You lost. Yeah. You lose. I don't think people understand how cheap this is. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. I don't think people actually understand. And that's his rookie, that 58. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. This one went for 190. Wow. Bro, this is, I said to Source, I go, this is upwards of $1,000, this card. Upwards. So it's so dirt cheap. That's when cheap. You think about PSA 8 of like a 1958 card is. Come on. Come on. It's crazy. Who was the other one? Salah. Salah, and then we'll move on to Trey Young. Good old Trey. Salah is have a look for hot property for at the moment. I was supposed to bid on these, but I, I didn't. Again, which one were you going to bid on? Because yeah, I want to see what it ended on. No, it would have been like the lower grades. I bid on this. Clearly, you can see. <laughs> 2018, his first prism. Yeah. There you go. What was that? That's PSA 6, 40 bucks. There's not many of these stickers graded. It's low. It's low price. Mate, the adrenaline. Why would you want that? Hey, it's all my <laughs> All right. Why would you want that, he says. I mean, we're going to keep getting this stuff. If, if eventually they get get down to what they're supposed to be, get to PSA, I mean, it's so it's never going to end, mate. People are going to be grading base hoops, base match attacks, freaking everything, mate. What's, Again, I was going to say, it wouldn't be a good um, good example, but I say, what's the Lamello hoops at PSA at the moment? I don't know. I don't know if there's any out there. There probably is, just a few. No, there but, is. There is. Know. I've seen them. Um, someone's doing it because I've seen that. I've seen you that. You have to be <laughs> mad. You have to be mad to be doing that. Like, oh, oh well. Get rid of the other guy on it. The other guy's washed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I agree. <laughs> what's the word? What's the word right now on um? On both of them, like as their price, like is it stable? Where we at? Oh, Luke is Trey... Luke is still fucking ridiculous. Yeah, Luke is yeah. The, the gap. The gap is too is too great. The gap, I believe. The gap is massive between the two. Yeah. You know, that's always been the talk. Um, but Lucas is is just way up there. He's he's barely even fallen off. Like he's he's come down, but you know. Um, I mean, his that's base nice prisms aren't two thousand north of two thousand anymore, but you, you know they they did creep up. They got to six seven hundred. I think they got back to a thousand. Um, for the record, Lukey, uh, last sold PSA ten Lamelo Ball NBA hoops card for one hundred eighty four dollars. So, and how many is out there? What's what's the pop? I'm not going that far into it for you. Oh, mate. sorry, I thought you were on card ladder. I was going to say nah, <laughs> you got to write no, there. I don't, I don't so think good, it's on good, card ladder. Good. It's just it's just through one thirty point, it's mate. Don't insult card good. ladder like that. They're not going to put in uh, Lamelo ball what hoops. Mean? Hey, they've got oh. Trey Young hoops on there. Yeah, well, that's a fair point. <laughs> what else that's you got here? Shout out card ladder. Is there anything that? What did the Immaculate go for? If you want to use their platform, make sure you uh, head to the <laughs> the uh, affiliate link in the description, ladies and gentlemen. Three one. Sign up. Yeah, three mm-hmm. one. Two two for the choice. That seems like not a bad price. Flawless double diamond gems. Oh wow, Mose Camo. Camo, that's sick. So seventeen fifty five, that's tough. We'll open that one while we could go in. Oh, here's a whole bunch of silvers. One four. Fuck. That's that seems cheap. Then again, it's not really something I look at too often. Uh, what did the red uh, red out of 99? One, two. That white box is decent. One, one for that. That's sick. Opulent Sexton, Shy. Is that a booklet? Yeah. Is that... I haven't seen many booklets graded before. Camo. There's the camo. That's cool. That's pretty cool. So that's the way they grade a booklet. I don't know if I've ever seen one before graded. 
It's like a little book. Uh, you that's you a, don't really a see it a lot. Stuff. That's yeah. pretty ugly. It's disgusting. Unless you've got that up on a wall, that's pretty ugly. Yeah. It's disgusting. Far I don't know where that one be just. It's probably the people that graded it. That's why it's gross. <laughs> Jeez. So that's um, contenders draft picks. <laughs> Whack left one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't order seven fifty five. I can't help myself. Is there five pages of tray? Huh? No, don't stress. Yeah, no, we're not. We just go through the first page. Anyone else? Any? Anyone at all? Uh, mate, we can venture into Pokemon here. We can venture into w- whatever you want. Should we go Luca? Just since we looked up Trey. Luca Dawn. Do you reckon, do you reckon the guy who bought the, the 4.5... Do you reckon the guy who bought the 101 NT is like stressing right now? Or are you sweating a little bit? There's two people that are sweating right now. The guy that bought that car and the guy that bought the $4.2 million Mahomes. Oh, yeah. They've sweat straight through their clothing. That's, that's how much they're sweating. <laughs> it's all you know time, patches mate. on every chair they sit on, mate. That's how much they fucking it's sweat. Shower mate. time at the moment for those blokes. Oh my god! Oh, oh, my they have god. no nails left. They're that nervous, mate. <laughs> at least Mahomes, Mahomes won Super Bowl. Did he win MVP as well? Yeah. 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 He's got nervous so, like, twitch. They got nervous twitches now. That one, that one, I, that one, I don't paranoia. know. Paranoia. I think he's uh, he's got a little bit of de- deodorant with him, but the Luca guy, I don't think he's got. He's got no deodorant. He's got. Oh, nothing. he's he's, mate, he's just he's straight sweating. Yeah, he's, he's in the desert as well. Looks, <laughs> yeah, Sahara Desert style. <laughs> it's um, it's what's his face? He he's got the the worst part. He's got the Harland as well. He's got is that sh- it's a shine. Is it really? shine that has shine. No, no, it's no. shine. Yeah. No, it no, is. no, not that. Uh, he shine sold it to some other bloke. Oh, Wait, really? are you the Luca or the Mahomes? Was it, the Luca. It wasn't Rob G, Luca. was it? Wow. No, it wasn't Rob G. Nah, no, no, no. 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 It was hard. He remember, buys mantles, mate. Books. He buys mantles. He... <laughs> there you go. Fast break. Uh, purple. They still fetch oh, a fair bit, but not as much as the next bit. Source, can you tell me why the number to 75 did... sold for $1,000 less than the number to 175 Color match. Uh, what's the number to 175? Is that blue? Yeah, it's yep. blue. It's color yeah. match. So yeah, because it's right. blue, people people really yeah. like the blue number to 175, the true the true 175, because there's obviously the 175 fast break and there's yeah. all these different variants of it. But if it's just the true blue that's uh you know just the straight blue color, it, it fetches a hefty price. Uh, um and that does happen on other ones, like I think Trey Young, the number to 99, I think is red. And that yeah. that fetches a crazy price as well. So it does happen. Uh, same okay. thing with SGA. Like when I've bought SGA color match cards, I always I've always paid a bit more premium. Um, the the blue, uh, my best card is definitely a, a color match optic uh, blue to forty nine on card auto of SGA. Um, wow, and, that's and, you know, that's tough. I, that's a I sick to, card. I, I had to pay a, a bit a hefty price for that. But I will tell you what, what I bought it at mm. back then, I'm uh, I'm looking good. Right now, because um, nice. my boy Shy is uh, balling. Anyone? Any regulars before we get to Fire or Flame? A couple more. I'm good. I've, I've put out a fair few. Anthony, got any? There's no Grealish. Do we do Bellingham? Oh, do it. Bellingham. Know, no, no, forget we'll Bellingham. On. Forget Bellingham. Do um. Okay. Just let me have a quick look at Marvel. All right. Yeah, I like this. I'm spewing this about this. Cool. I want to. I want to buy this Venom, this Venom Bro, card. Cool. Here. Under maintenance. <laughs> of course. What? That's, oh that is, no! Go back. Go back. Go back. No, nah, nah, I hope it is. Bro, it's, it's just oh, gone down. Oh my god! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, this just proves <laughs> our point on the whole oh, platform, man. God. What? You couldn't have, yeah. you couldn't have scripted this if you yeah you can't script this. <laughs> <You can't laughs> <script. laughs> Ladies script and gentlemen, if you're listening to on audio, as we're going oh, through, shit. we're about to go uh, look up another player or Marvel actually, and uh, sites under maintenance, mate. PWCC is... has shut it down once again. So the rug we've been rug pulled again, not once but twice, rug pulled. <laughs> I can't oh shit! I can't click on shit. Yeah, couldn't script this if we tried. That is just. Oh, shit. 
Mate, what a weird PWC time as well. Like it was working at 10.30. Working at 10.30. Now it's not working at 15 minutes. Like... Uh, every, link, every link is All right. The... Well, Doma, get that shit off. Get that shit off. It looks like we're moving into um, <laughs> oh, man. fire or flame early. Fire or flame. <laughs> Fucking oh, hell. Geez. Ladies it, and gentlemen. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me. Flame. PWCC marketplace. There's my flame for the week. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> maintenance <laughs> set <laughs> up perfectly i tell you what they uh, we put oh. that on the t-ball stand and you just had to not miss mate because you just that's how easy it was to hit that one out the park oh, oh wow literally all they had oh. to do was be up for fucking 10 15 minutes they couldn't even do that for us to go through the listings <laughs> 10 seconds that was the last let one. us get up the yeah. you just need on, last we're, one. we're about to finish <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Oh, all right, fire or flame? What do we got? Well, we're all we're all gonna end up flaming PWCC, and that's yeah, a that's, that's, that's an easy one. We'll get oh, my cards I've got, up. I've got my fire. I'll, I'll reveal one of the five cards that are coming. How are you back gonna get your on... cards up now, Doma? No, nah, I got. I took photos on my phone. Lucky. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> yeah, go the ahead, the, go one, the one card that I'm looking forward to the most is. It got graded at HGA 9.5. It's the Ronaldo 2010 World Cup. Um, is Ooh. the foil card. That's a good grade. 9.5. It's a fantastic. That's really H- HGA to ren- renowned tough graders. And I mean, people been grading that same card with PSA, been getting that back eights and, and, and sevens, mate. I've been seeing a lot of those. 9.5 on surface, nine on centering. 9.5 corners, 9.5 edges, overall 9.5. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Now, this is my question. Where does that rank? Would you say that ranks above, on par, or below a PSA 9? No, no, well above a PSA 9. Well Logically above. or like on comps? No, like market-wise. Like if I was to sell it. It ranges in, be- be in between a 9 and a 10. I would be working more off a 10 price and then working down off that. Because mm. – and – in the market for HEA, if you've seen cards, like obviously people who put stuff up for auctions, they get killed. Like they get killed. Mm. But uh, the people who are willing to just, you know, put their price up, obviously you're not, you're never going to get more than a PSA 10. You're probably kicking yourself or you, you, you're dreaming, right? You're dreaming if you think you're going to get more than TSA 10 because unfortunately uh, the market perception isn't that way. Um, but if you, if you hold out, you definitely could, get you know maybe a few hundred dollars under a psa 10 maybe and and do pretty well i wouldn't be pricing at a psa 9 level i definitely wouldn't mm. um and this because i know people with, have sold uh, a custom label as well that. yeah there you go with so custom I'm label, you so. know what there is something about uh the hd i mean this is my first one but when you've got when you've when you're getting a custom label you don't actually know what you're going to get until it comes back. You can make notes and things like that, but you don't actually know what exactly it's going to look like until it comes back. So I'm very excited to see what, what ends up happening here. Because I've got that and I've got the Messi, which scored a nine, which I'm still very happy with. Nice. Um, you know what? It was a very good sub. I did clean the cards well, but two 9.5s and a three nines, I'm very happy with that. They clean it when they get there as well, don't they? Well, they're meant to, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like I'm it. I'm pretty happy. It's what did you say your results were? Two? Two. 9.5s. Yeah. Uh, and three nines from the That's from the good. five that I submitted. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy definitely with that. Cute. Definitely take that. Fire of Flame, yeah. Lukey, Sauce. I got one. I'm just trying to go first, Sauce. I don't know if I should say it or not. No, I'll say it. Do you want to go first, though, Sauce? No, mate. You, Is you it going to be go, controversial? I actually, I I actually don't have anything. I'll make so you go see long. <laughs> No, it's not controversial. I, oh. I think it's pretty... It might be Luke is never controversial. Come on. Yeah, yeah mate, he's too nice. Right. He's a nice guy. He's like Nick Claxton. <laughs> Nick, oh, don't, don't put me in that category. That's insulting, Dollar. <laughs> Nick Claxton. That's unreal. He's just absolutely Jeez. stitch up. Of course, he's got, he's got it there as well. <laughs> yeah, the coaster. What do you expect, man? Look, here's my coffee. Okay. 
Oh, all right. On that note, I'm going to make this the most intense fire, uh, intense flame we've ever had. No, I'm joking. Um, my flame is, uh, I sort of, I understand the half assed reaction I got when I asked the question about it to the platform, but I still, it, it still pisses me off. Okay. So mine is StockX um, as a buying platform. In the past, I've said, you know, it's good. Um, it's good when it works. Like I will put in my, like you've got your ask price, which is whatever, you know, you buy it now. That's that's the ask price, yeah. Like, yeah, you know, get yeah. yeah. Essentially, so the you ask price. Just, you, if you select that, you you get the you buy the it ask now. That, what that and price then is. there is then there is the bid function. Every single time in the last maybe week, week and a half, I've put in a bid. I've been like comfortably the highest bid by twenty twenty five Australian dollars, and for some reason, I'm still not winning anything. The sales well well under my bid. Um, and when I mean well under my bid, like twenty thirty. Thirty-five dollars under my bid. Um, I'm not really sure why. I, I I messaged StockX about it, and they were saying because of the fees and taxes and stuff like that um, that I added into the price. Um, but I don't know. I'd rather be a bit more clear on exactly where I am in terms of my bid compared to everyone else. When I'm seeing you know sales well under my price, it, it gets pretty annoying. Yeah, it's good. It, yeah, and then it does have to do a little bit with the the overall function um, of you know, people buying within America and, and you know, I've, I've, I've had someone explain this to me before, but um, yeah. yeah, it's pretty bizarre that, you know, being even $20, $30 over the top bid, that that's sort of not covering that extra bit yeah, I know. that that's they would be losing out on. If um, I was 2 or $3 like over the highest bid, I'd be like, all right, fair enough. Because that's what I was doing at the start and I, I wasn't winning. I was like, okay, fair enough. And then when I bidded, I think the last time I bought Euromaze egg boxes, I bidded about 15 over the highest bid and I, and I won them and I got them and it was all good. It came here quickly. I was very happy. And this time, oh, you know, $30, $40 over the highest bid and I'm still not anywhere near it. I'm not, not 20 30 over the highest bid and there's sales 30 or 40 under my highest bid. Which is it's a bit mad. I, I don't get it. Um, I, yeah, like I said, I tried to reach out to StockX to sort of get an explanation, but to be honest, it didn't really help me. They sort of just said what was going on, but there's no way to really fix it. So yeah, StockX is my flame this week. Uh, well, I'm gonna back that, and I was just looking at my phone now. I'm trying to sell the, a PS5, and last sale is twelve forty two, and my ask is twelve twenty. My ass has been up for like three days. So that doesn't make sense. Someone's paid more. It's like the reverse, exact reverse of what your situation is. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know about that. It's a bit. It's weird. And I know, I know, like, even if you put in a thing for that, they're going to say, oh, it's because of the fees and the fees and taxes and shit like that. But at the end of the day, I just want to know how much I'm, I can actually buy these boxes for, not all this other bullshit in the background. It's not clear. I don't, I don't think it's clear. Does, does anyone else feel It's definitely way? not clear. It's definitely yeah. not clear. I thought maybe it was just me being a bit of a potato and I just didn't understand it, but I'm glad, I'm glad it's not. <laughs> no, it makes no sense at all. Yeah. Zero sense. Saucy, fire or flame? No fire or flame, mate. I've I've used I've used all my flaming up on uh, Wednesday, mate. Yeah, this week you've a lot you... of flaming. <laughs> I, I gave my flame. A lot of flame. I gave my flame the platform where I bought all my cards, and you can probably Is flame it... me for for some of the purchases. But I I did buy some things on the intention of flipping something. So, source, if you want to make it big, I can show some of these cards. I would have loved to have shown you on the uh, PWCC website, but uh, they went under maintenance. <laughs> So can't do that, can I? At the so perfect sh- time. So the first one, 978 Golden Wonder Mario Kempes World Cup Soccer. That's so far. Seven. I paid 18 USD for that. Well, wow. that's nice. I couldn't believe I got that for 18 USD. There, there it is. That's wild. So that's sick. That's his second card, his first ever World Cup card. They won the World Cup in 78. I think he won the Ballon d'Or in 78 also. Oh, jeez, so, $18. Uh, next up, we saw it while we're going through. It was the 2015 Panini Don Ross Cristiano Ronaldo, PSA 8. Uh, then I've got a 2015 Panini Don Ross Zlatan Ibrahimovic Pitch Kings, PSA 
PSA 9, number to 299. I haven't got his Latan card. Thought I picked it up. I paid 22 US for that. Tell me if I've, I've done anything wrong here, boys. By all means, you can flame me. I could not care. I'd... No, they're right so far. This one I picked up because United fan. Uh, I haven't got a Wayne Rooney card. Oh, that's gun. 2016, that's same card. club. Gold foil, PSA 9. Yeah. Pop is 2 on this card. Uh, See, that's how much you pay for that? 26 US. See, that's something you list on eBay. Someone picked that up for 200 bucks. Yeah, I know. Do you reckon? That's a great card. Yeah. This this, this yeah, was the steel. United fans. There's way too many. Yeah, like, that's you... true. Actually, we'll get to the steel all, at the end. They're all a bit, you know, there's always something wrong with them. They'll pay over his time. <laughs> there's and something boy. wrong with them. <laughs> there that it is. is so disgusting. There, there it is. Yeah. That's the best card you bought. That, that, was, that was 12 USD. That's a, that's the worst card in the entire auction. <laughs> <laughs> there, are things, there are things that didn't sell in that auction that should have sold for more than twelve dollars. And that you were the o- actually, you were the only wow. person that actually clicked onto that link. That's wow. actually an interesting stat. Did everything in that auction sell? No. No. I wonder no. what percentage didn't sell from the auction. Yeah, because the website crashed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, every okay. team, Probably everything. Every team work hard, but that one. <laughs> oh, um, God. Next is a 2021 Panini Prism Premier League multicolor of Donny van der Beek, SGC 10. Nice. Got to pick him up. Who's he play Support for? the boy. Uh, Man United. <laughs> Man I haven't seen him in the United kit. Yeah. Man yeah United that's, that's, that's a pop one. I paid 14 US for it, so I'll take it. Yeah, uh, it's a coast he's one, at this point in time. Yeah, he's one that I showed. Yeah, if he scored this morning, it wouldn't have been a fucking coast. I can tell you that much. If you kick the winner. Uh, 91 net pro, Andre Agassi, PSA 8. Mm. Not bad. For 18 US. That's not bad. That's pretty good. And then the last two, uh, Chronicles, Pitch Kings, Mason Greenwood, PSA 9. How much it's, was that? 76 US. It's slightly under comps. Um that's pretty good though. Yeah, I'll take it. And then this was this was obviously this was the banger from it all. Um I I can't play I didn't even comp this card. I just saw it. I'm like I want him. But it was a 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Red Mosaic Prism. It's not the Red Mosaic Ooh, base. That's sick. Uh, PSA 9. I picked it up for 46 USD and there's a cu- couple that are currently listed for 200 plus USD <laughs> everywhere, that's so sick. I'm pretty happy with that. Steel. That's that's a nice car. So, those are why I went gangbusters. You 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 pressured me last week, boys, and I had to deliver with a, with a fire in some of my purchases, but you can flame me on and one of them. That's did. for sure. So... Just just before we go, I just got a, I just got a notification from StockX, and I thought it was that someone had accepted my bid, but it turns out that the law ask is just you know a dollar law, so we're still <laughs> still thumbs down on StockX. <laughs> Stock All right, boys. Oh, that continues. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> we'll see what happens yeah. next week. We got it under an hour this week. We smashed it. Not bad. Solid. Great stuff. Uh, it's been myself with Sauce, Luke, and Anth. It's crunch time coming up big when it counts. And peace. 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 Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Crunch Time on the Double Coverage Media Network. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to know when we drop a new episode. Also, feel free to leave a review on the Apple Podcasting app. Crunch time coming up big when it counts.